Hey students, how are you? I am very well. I am teacher Ms. Marixa, I am teacher Marixa, and today we're going to have a new English class. Let's see what is the topic. Okay, here we have the first part of the slides we are working. We are working here. The day is from 13 to 17 of April, grade, first grade, level primary. And the name of the unit is This Is Me. Here, teacher Marixa Gladys Tobar Cáceres. Let's go to the second slide. The name of the topic is How old are you? We have the competence, capacities, um, interact strategically in English with different interlocutors, communicate orally in English, and interact in other situations with other people in English, answering questions and using simple vocabularies. The purpose of the class is that the students use the language, it is an informative question, to use the language in real situations. Let's see our next slide. We have problematization. We have to create in the students to begin to see what is the topic about. The students will give a range of ideas because they are going to see here the numbers. The numbers say six, five, four, and the questions say, how old are you? The students will have to inquire what is the topic about. Here, in the next slide, we have a song that you can share it with a family. You may click here in the link and you will go to YouTube and you can share with your family the song. It's a song about the topic. The song is about how old are you? This one, we have manage of competence. In this part of the slides, we are talking about the real topic. The topic says, how old are you? And we have several options. We have five, we have one, we have two, and we have seven. Okay, let's see the next slide, but here, remember, you have to practice the numbers. We're going to see the numbers from one to five. One, two, three, four, five, and seven. Here we have the pronunciation of the question. Remember that you are in first grade, but you have to begin to make questions with your classmates. So you have to have a near relation with your students because some students will make the questions and the other are going to answer. So you have to practice numbers from one to five. The questions say, this is the correct way to write the question. This is the writing. And here in color red, we have the pronunciation. The questions say, how old are you? How old are you? And this is the pronunciation. How old are you? And the answer, depending on the person, will be I'm six, I'm one, I'm two, I'm five, I'm four, I don't know. You have to say your real age. So remember the question and color red is the pronunciation. My question says, How old are you? And the other person is going to answer, I'm six. Here in this slide, we're going to remember the numbers. We have number one, we have number two, we have number three, three, the last class we saw the correct pronunciation, number three, here we have four and five. I'm going to activate the
we want to appreciate. Here I have number one. Here number two. Two. Next one. Number three. Number three. Three. Next one here. I have four. Four. And the last one that you're going to learn is five. Five. Let's repeat. Let's repeat. Okay. One, one, two, three, four, and five. Let's see the next slide. Here we have an exercise. We're going to practice the question and the answer. The question is, how old are you? Remember the first part of the slides? I made the question, how old are you? I'm going to answer with that. What is the hand showing me? The hand is showing me three fingers. One, two, and three fingers. So my answer is going to be and three. And three, because I have three fingers. One, two, and three. How old are you? I'm three. Number two. How old are you? And the person is going to say, I, and here I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm five. I'm five. Remember, one, two, three, four, five. And the last answer, say, how old are you? The question say, how old are you? And the person, for me, I'm going to answer, I one, only one. Look at here, the finger. I one. Okay? So, in the answer, you have to say a number. It can be one, two, three, four, five. Depending on the age of the person. Okay? If you are five, you will say, I'm five. If you are three, you will say, I'm three. And maybe your little brother will say, I'm one. Okay? Let's see the next slide. And here we have mm, delicious cakes. They are birthday cakes. Birthday cakes. And here we have candles. We have four, one, three, and two candles. The question say, how old are you? That is my interrogative question. How old are you? How old are you? And here, let's see the answer. What do you think is here? I'm two or I'm four? Excellent. The answer is I'm four. Let's see. Here, I have the part of the grammar. The, the grammar say I'm. So you're going to complete at home with mommy or daddy, maybe with your brother. You're going to give the answer at home. How old are you? How old are you? The question. And my answer is I one, two, three, four. I'm four. That is the correct answer. Number two, the question say, how old are you? The answer is I, what number? One, exactly, very good. I one, that is the answer. Next one, my question say, how old are you? And my answer is I, please count. One, two, three. My answer is going to be I'm three, I'm three. And the last one, the last exercise, we have a number, it's easy. I have number two. My question say, how old, how old are you, or how old are you? And my answer is, I'm two, I'm two, okay? Very good, you participate at home. Congratulations, excellent, it was great. Let's see the next slide. Here we have
another part of the slide. Metacognition. We want to say, what did we learn today? The teacher is going to say, okay, students, what did we learn today in these 15 minutes? We're going to be the question. What did we learn today? So, okay, students, today we learn numbers. We make a review of numbers and we learn one set question using how old. How old are you? I'm fine. So, it means that we learn personal information because you know now how to give an information to another person. The person is going to say, how old are you? And you will say, I'm two, I'm five. Here we have, so the answer is, we learn personal information. And uh, the second question say, how can you practice this in your daily life? Very easy. You can learn, you can practice these questions at home, in real life. So you can practice it at home with mommy, daddy, maybe a friend. Or oh, when we return to the school, you will have the opportunity to practice all these questions. How can you practice this in your real life, in your daily life? Okay, at home or in the school, with friends or with the teacher or the family, okay? Okay, students, we finished with this slide. The topic was, okay, the topic was, how old are you? It was an interrogative question. Here, thank you for your attention and don't forget to, to do clicks at the links and to see the video. It's a very, very, very nice song, okay? Nice to be here, nice to see you. Next Tuesday, we'll see you, we'll find here through the screen with another topic. Bye, have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.